We're back for another season of Tiakau TV. I'm joined this morning by Tiakau trainer Mark Walker. How are you this morning, mate? Good, Hamish. Good. Fantastic. Not a bad way to to get through the week there at Taupo with six winners. Um, a cracking wee day there. Yeah, if you could have a Wednesday like that, most weeks we'd be very happy. But uh, we had a lot of a lot of horses that didn't win. We were pretty happy with their runs as well. And full credit to Taupo. It's a lot of voluntary people. Put a lot of time and effort into that track and i thought the surface was as good as you could get for this time of the year absolutely and on that note how are the surfaces holding up um at the moment uh pretty tough work hamish like there's a lot of rain around um so course managers have really got their work cut out that's for sure fantastic how far away are we from the metamata plow opening up oh <laughs> for a fair while yet i would think yeah right We'll bring on some good weather, and I think we're only 30 days away from daylight saving today, so um, I'm sure some good things will happen in time um, there with the weather. Um, and just quickly, just touching on the season that's been, so another fantastic season for the team at Tiaka with 146 wins. Um, that was 141 in New Zealand and five in Australia between, obviously, Jamie and yourself, Mark. Nine Group 1 winners, um, one of those in Australia. Uh, 38 black type wins and over $8 million of prize money. Um, and again, the sixth crack a million winner in a row, I'm sure you'll be um, aiming up to try and hit, hit those kind of heights again this season. Yeah, we'll be doing our best as we do every race day we go out. But obviously, it's not having Allersley for a couple of years will be a bit different, that's for sure, especially crack a million time. Now, we haven't seen any of the two-year-olds step out on race day yet. Um, have, have you? Um, in, do you like any at the moment? Oh, there's a lot of nice two-year-olds there, and some have trialled up very, very well. But uh, we'll probably have our first runners next Saturday at Wanganui. Fantastic. Um, and then just quickly touching on um, the Tiakau Soiree a couple of weeks ago. So um, it was an event held at, um, at Ellerslie Racecourse there. Um, where the team managed to raise over fifty thousand dollars for Equi Potential. Um, it's a charity that is dear to the heart of both Karen and David, um, and that was a, a great effort from a, a lot of owners and also um, the wider um, Tiakau team there at Ellerslie. Mark, yeah, I thought your wife did a great job organising it, and Julia Rose, you know, should take a bow there. It was a great night, and I, I think there was some. You know, people that really enjoyed it, and it was especially interesting listening to Glenn Boss, that's for sure. Absolutely. Well, let's kick into it. Um, I think we've got one runner lining up at Egmont today. Um, tell me if I'm wrong uh, there. Uh, you are wrong. The meeting's uh, transferred to Sunday, and he won't be running. He's going to run at Cambridge now. Beautiful. Um, well, we'll kick off then in Tarapa and race one, the Banquo three-year-old, 1,200, maiden three-year-old event, obviously over the 1,200 metres. We um, kick off with um, Bubbles of Weight, drawn Barrier 1 with Kozzy Asano on board. Yeah, I think Hamish, he's a nice horse going forward. He's got the gun draw. Uh, track will be pretty wet. Um, but as I say, he's had the one run under his belt. Uh, I, you know, he's an each-way chance. Good as gold. And um, Wild Night, drawn barrier form 14 with Joe Kummerudin on board, claiming one um, down to 56 and a half. Yeah, shame about the draw, but you never know. That might be the best place to be, even though it's race fun. Uh, he'll get back and be getting home strongly. And uh, Treaty of Paris, drawn barrier three with Opie Boston on board. Yeah, he can really gallop this horse, but he's a colt and he knows he's a colt. So it just depends if he brings his best foot forward. But if he does, they'll know he's there, that's for sure. Great. And race five, the Savabille 1400, rating 75 benchmark. Um, we've got a horse that's come back from a campaign over there last thing, I think, of Eagle Farm. Um, Soprano Supreme, John Barrier 13 with Opie Boston on board. Yeah, 1400 will be too short, Hamish, but she's a good class of mare and I expect her to be in some of those really nice stone races later in the season. I, I really like her. Great. And um, race six, the Group 2 Waikato Stud Foxbridge Plate. Um, wait for age over 1,200. Um, impressive last start winner, um, Imperatriz. Jordan, a little bit out there in barrier 10 with Opie Boston on board. Yeah, I I'm hoping by that time of the day, Hamish, that's probably the right strip of ground. So, you know, she's a high-class mare. The track's the only query, but we're very, very happy with her leading into this. Had a nice gallop at Talpo Friday a week ago and... Uh, Obviously, 
you know, be nice if the weather fined up a little bit today, but it's certainly not the case here at Matamata. And she's, she's looked to have handled it fairly well in her career to date. I remember she was on a pretty bottomless track there in the Thousand Guineas where she was unlucky and flew home for fourth. So um, hopefully she can, um, she can get through it tomorrow there. Um, moving across to um, Meta Meta there on Sunday, we kick off, kick off in race two. The AP goal and registered property value is made in three year old 1200. Um, first up, we've got Hero Worship, drawn Barrier Five with Troy Harris on board. Yeah, interesting. This race is only 1,050. So we just felt we'd run this horse at that distance. And uh, he's a lot stronger this year. He'll be winning a maiden very quickly. So Depends what gets through the ground on Sunday, Hamish. It's probably the heaviest I've seen at Matamata. It's very heavy. And um, the next horse is one of the better maidens or the, going around in the barn, Kai. Um, John Barrier 3 with Joe Kamarudin on board. Yeah, she's honest as the day's long. She hasn't trialled coming into this, but I just felt 1,050. We might get away with it, actually. So she'll, she'll run well. She always does. And Sternland there, John Barrier 10 with Nirinjan Palmer on board, claiming 3. Um, kilos. Same thing, a little bit. She was meant to trial at Avondale and got balloted out. So uh, we just felt 1,050 metres. It's almost like trialling for money sort of thing. So they only have to walk across the road, which helps. Uh, sh she'll give an honest account if she can handle the track. And believe it or not, John Barrier too with Lisa Allpress. Yeah, I think if that Hara meeting goes ahead, Lisa will ride there on Sunday. So we'll we might be on the lookout for a new rider, but he trialled very well at Avondale and got through the ground. So definitely each way chance that horse. Great. And right, race three, the right way builders limited, made in 1200. We've got um, a horse that was quite well spruiked there on debut at Ruakaka, um, homegrown, drawn barrier one with Troy Harris on board. Yeah, lucky I'm not a punter. I would have lost my shirt off my back at uh, <laughs> Red Parker. I thought he was a good thing that day, but he was touch disappointing. Um, so back to a heavy track here at Matamata, drawn one. I expect him to be, give a really bold showing. So if you did lose your shirt last time, back up and go again. <laughs> and um, the other four there uh, to be scratched, I understand. They'll be racing there at Tarapa. Yeah, um, they'll go to Tarapa. Um, where's Armino going to go there, Mark? Uh, he's just going to be scratched and and he'll trial again. Good. Uh, race five, the Comag Limited, rating 75 benchmark over the mile. We've got um, a couple of the old boys here, Tiakau Caliburn, drawn barrier five with Kelsey Hannon claiming three. Yeah, he's been a bit of a head scratcher, that horse, so he's my problem now. Jamie said good luck when he left with that one. So uh, we've just changed things up a bit with him. He's been schooling over the big hurdles, so we just hope he can bring his best foot forward, but it's probably a bit short for him as well. And leaderboard, um, John Barry, 8 for Fortuna Racing. Niranjan Palmer takes the mount, claiming three. Yeah, it's a shame he was in the interprovincial last Saturday and the meeting was abandoned. I thought he was um, a good chance for good prize money. But I ha I think he'll run very well here at Matamata, even though, you know, he's a staying horse at one at St. Ledger. He'll run very well fresh. Has trialled pretty well leading into this as well. Um, and then, of course, the Mighty Spa um, looked a bit, a little bit unlucky on the synthetic there last start in the midweek races there. Um, John Barrier six with Joe Kamarudin on board. Yeah, he was dead unlucky. He should have run second that day. Uh, he's won here at Matamata Matter before, but testing track, you don't really know how much do they go on it, but he's a very fit horse. Great. And um, our last runner of the day there, race six, super liquor, matter, matter, rating 65, benchmark 1400. We've got Fierce Flight, drawn barrier seven with Joe Kamarudin on board. Yeah, he's a horse that raced at Ruakaka, but you've just got to get some racing into some of these horses. They're not going to win uh, sitting in the box. And some of the horses, as I say, that ran very well at Taupo, when they're third up for the season, they're going to be winning. And that's the sort of horse Fierce Flight is he'll take at least two, maybe three runs, and then he'll be winning again. So I couldn't see him winning this, but he will be winning very shortly in the future. Good as gold. Well, um, I guess we um, were a bit hit and miss there last, towards the back end of last season with our best bet for the week. Um, but again, new season, new year, new you, Mark. Um, can you give us one today? Oh, I think Imperatrice, if she can handle the track, she's our best.
Good as gold. Well, we'll be keeping a close eye on the strike rate as we go through this um, week to week. Um, and look ahead to next week, we've got um, races there at Cambridge on Wednesday, um, Rickerton Thursday. Um, of course, there was another winner there at Rickerton on the synthetic yesterday with Irish Reds. There's a good little team down there with um, Hunter Durant. Um, and then we've got um, the, the Wanganui record and double. As you mentioned, there's going to be a couple of two-year-olds running around there in Wanganui before we head back to the Hawks Bay for the first leg of the Triple Crown there the following Saturday. So lots of racing action to look forward to. Um, and Mark, best of luck for the runners this weekend, and we'll catch you um, all again next week. Thank you.